What is going on everybody? This is Della Hank here and I've got a little test video for you guys. Um leave a like down below and a comment if you guys would like to see some more Destiny. I do play a lot of Destiny and I love to do D Destiny alongside Borderlands because they're two similar games and they're both games I love playing all the time. So if you guys would like to see some more Destiny, be sure to leave a comment and a like down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. But this is gonna be a Destiny 2 wishlist series. And depending on if it's going to be a series, how well you guys enjoyed this video and um, the feedback from you guys, if I'm going to continue the series and continue posting Destiny as a whole. I really would love to post Destiny and Borderlands 2 because, or Borderlands, the franchise, just because I really love playing both of them and I love... I love the communities behind both of the games, like the Call of Duty community that I used to kind of make videos about all the time and be a part of that that community is just toxic right now and I really I really like how the Destiny community and the Borderlands community they're all just people that love the games and people that are like excited for the new content that's coming into the games and excited for things. They're not just being mad about things in the game and hating the games and just toxic to everyone. Like if you say you like the game you'll just get struck down by the might of the fucking Call of Duty fanboys and shit. So, if you guys would like to see some more Destiny uh, videos, be sure to leave a like and some feedback. So, let's hop into this. So, the topic for the first Destiny 2 wishlist video is going to be more MMO um, type of things that are kind of accustomed to MMOs and the loot system. So, I would like loot specific bosses. Certain exotics can only be attained from beating certain raids and raid bosses. I know there is raid set gear, but the exotics in the game, most of them if you don't buy them from the exotic vendor that comes once a week um, on the weekends, it's basically RNG, or I think it's RNG, it's RN something, where it's just random loot drops, and so you, you'll get an exotic Ingram, and you'll have no idea what you're going to get, what class you're going to get it for, or anything. So it's just, it's a little bit of probably my only complaint with Destiny is just you don't really know like when, what you're going to get and if it's going to be any good. So that's kind of how I'd like to see the exotics um, put into it. And then obviously a better main story. I know that was what everyone raved about in Destiny 1 being terrible. I thought the story was really bad too. And um, that's like the only thing I didn't like about Destiny. Um, I thought the main story was really bad and I just got through it as fast as I could and I haven't played it ever since, like, ever since the first week I played the game. But, um, to either remove or rework the Ingram system. Now, the Ingram system was a little bit controversial too. I like to make it so you can, um, decrypt the Ingrams without going back to the player hub slash the tower. That's the one thing that has just always been annoying. Whenever I wanted to see what loot I got from the raid, the boss, uh, Archon's Forge, shit like that, or the Crucible, I have to go all the way back to the tower just to see what I got. It's just, it's frustrating. Like, just make the Ingrams decryptable. Like, whenever you get out of the match, you can just pull up your inventory screen and just decrypt them from there. Like,. I don't see why like you have to go all the way back to the tower or the player hub and um, just to fucking see what loot you got from what you were doing. It's just, I don't know, it's frustrating. Also, it would be nice to have players to be able to earn light levels from just gaining XP and get and with also getting better gear. I do like the fact that you have to keep getting the best gear to increase your level, but um... I would like to be able to just earn like light levels a little slower than you get them with gear, but just be able to earn them so you feel like you're just constantly like progressing for something and ranking up. Um, I would really like that. It's similar to um, champion points in ESO. Whenever like you'll be earning champion points and stuff, and um, it's just a little small thing. You get them faster, and it just makes you feel like you're. Um, just progressing and that's the main thing that keeps people playing the game next is trading and dueling need to be in the game more social options like a text chat on the screen trading etc trading would be so awesome in destiny and I can't believe it wasn't in destiny 1 dueling would be good 
Um, they would have to work that out kind of similar to how Borderlands is, where it just puts you in a separate little um, bubble thing. Um, I think trading and dueling should be in Destiny 2. Uh, I would be very surprised if they weren't. But um, this is another th cool thing. I think it would be awesome if players were allowed to own the vendors throughout the world. Kind of like ESO. ESO is set up to where guilds can have c control of the market, uh, kind of say. You can own guild traders throughout the world in the ma major cities where pe other players can buy and sell from them. And um, it just creates a, a cool economy to the game and like players can like build up a guild and make up a trader own stores around the world and um make profit from them and like guilds in destiny would be really cool like players can own their own factions to invite friends to play with trade with sell stuff around the world and um i think it would be a really cool thing it would create a more social community thing to the game which destiny lacked a lot of social uh features from like the other mmos that are just custom to like whenever you play an mmo you expect to be able to trade duel like interact with other people the only way you can interact with people in destiny is by fucking going up to them and dancing or something to try and get their attention um it's a little frustrating but our next would be to overall the questing system so it's just less a haggle to find out where the fuck your quest is um like a compass with quest icons and locations and like a little mini map you can pull up would be absolutely awesome where you can set a waypoint and it just it shows you where uh you're going that would be like such a big thing because questing like it's so frustrating whenever you go onto a patrol in destiny like um say like the mission is not popping up on the map like it's not a mission type thing like that you have to go into the patrol and do it it is so hard to find where the fuck you're supposed to be going if you don't know the actual area you're completely lost. You have no idea what's going on. So quest icons and compass where you can set a waypoint uh, would be really good. Next is more diverse questing. Do not make every quest consist of fending off enemies, killing a certain amount of enemies, and need I say, defending the fucking ghost. Oh my god. Cue the fucking... Oh, uh, I gotta encrypt this. Uh... I'll get this door unlocked. Guard me while I unlock the door. Oh my gosh. If I hear... I'm, if I hear that quote again in Ghost from fucking in Destiny 2, I will flip the shit. That shit is annoying. Um, make more diverse ways to play each quest. Like certain more routes. Bungie's map, map designs are on a new level. They, they make the most incredible maps and uh, mission designs. But there's just one way to play all the missions. Just go shoot as fucking many enemies as you can. Going straight. And then between there, you know, the ghost has to open a couple doors. So give them three hours to open each door. And you're good. So make more diverse quests and more fun things to do. More ways to play it. Maybe vehicles in the missions where you can, like... I don't even know what the vehicles are called in Destiny. Um, I know the Sparrow, that's about it. Uh, but just make more ways to play each mission. It would make so much replay value and make the like, first experience a lot more fun. Next is trading all non-unique gear. Now, I don't think you should be able to trade exotics or raid gear. Uh, like, if they took the trading just exactly from ESO, you can't trade... Um, you can't trade any of the uh, gear sets, which are like the main things for builds, PvP builds, PvE builds, all that. You can't trade that, and then certain higher level things you can't trade. If they took that, and you can just trade materials, money, um, like legendary marks, all that shit. And then also lower level like gear along with some uh, lower level legendaries. You, you should actually be able to trade all legendaries, I think. It would, it would be a good way to implement the trading system so that you can't just give someone like the best fucking gear in the game. Um, I don't think you should be allowed to do that. But that's going to be it for the first Destiny video. If you guys want to see more, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys want some more Destiny videos. I could do any type of Destiny videos you guys want. 
Along with Borderlands, I'm going to keep posting Borderlands wishlist videos and maybe some other walkthroughs on Borderlands tutorials, all that shit. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.